Now let's talk about Russia because it is seeking to rejoin the United Nations Human Rights Council in an election that will be seen as a key test of its international standing. Russia was suspended from the council after its invasion of Ukraine. The BBC has obtained a copy of Russia's position paper circulated to UN members promising what it called adequate solutions for human rights issues. Well, I'm now joined by Rachel Denber, who's Deputy Director for Europe at the NGI, NGO Human Rights Watch. Uh, Rachel, good to talk to you. So what do you make yeah. of this move on the part of Russia looking to rejoin the Human Rights Council? Well, it's a completely cynical move. Russia is no more uh, appropriate to join the Human Rights Council now than it was a year ago when it was dis when it was uh, voted off of the Human Rights Council because of the atrocities that it had been perpetrating in Ukraine. So nothing has changed in the past year. If anything, things have only gotten worse. There is there in in, in no way could Russia ever, uh, in the current circumstances, be said to be meeting the standards that are required of Human Rights Council members. Well, I was going to say. I mean, why does Russia believe it could rejoin? you know, on what basis does it argue it could rejoin? Well, I think that it's uh, not less a matter of what it believes uh, in terms of its qualifications than it is an, an, uh, an issue of what it wants, which is to be uh, shielded from scrutiny by the United Nations and to shield its friends on the human right, its friends and, um, you know, also from scrutiny of the United, of the United Nations. It wants, to, it wants to stop the United Nations Human Rights Council from exerting scrutiny on Russia. That's its agenda. But in terms of the United Nations Human Rights Council, it, we would assume, would we, that it will not allow Russia to rejoin? Well, it's the United Nations General Assembly that votes on the membership of the Human Rights Council. And when Russia was um, uh, was suspended from the Human Rights Council uh, a little more than a year ago, it was by a, a landslide vote against it. One, uh, you know, it, right now it's it's up to delegations, it's up to states to make sure that Russia, with its atrocious record on, of atrocities, war crimes, crimes against humanity, that the United Nations has itself documented uh, against Ukraine. And at the same time, also an unparalleled crackdown against civil society in, in Russia today that is just unprecedented in, in the post-Soviet era. So, um, you know, just and then this is also an area that an issue that the United Nations has uh, investigated. The UN special rapporteur, special expert on Russia just last week published a new report saying that uh, that Russia was, uh, you know, engaging in a massive crackdown on human rights in, at home. In, yeah, I was going to say, I mean, in terms of watching human rights, which is exactly what your NGO does, what are you able to verify about what's going on in Ukraine currently and also in Russia? I know that's a huge question to answer, but I mean, giving us a sense as, as a global audience, what is happening currently? Well, Russia has been engaged in, atro has committed uh, atrocities, a litany of atrocities in and other hu uh, international humanitarian law violations uh, in Ukraine that Human Rights Watch has uh, documented and verified through extensive uh, research, uh, uh, you know, on the ground, digital research using, uh, all, you, know, you know, the state of the art methodologies. And we have found uh, you know, case after case of indiscriminate bombing and shelling. We and the United Nations in our own separate invest investigations have also found, um, you know, widespread systematic uh, torture um, by, um, by Russian forces in areas of Ukraine that they're occupying. We've also found numerous cases, and the UN has also found numerous cases of uh, summary executions of civilians. Um, arbitrary detention, and also the forced transfer of, uh, of civilians, of Ukrainian civilians. And of course, the, you know, the, United, the, um, the International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant uh, against uh, Vladimir Putin and also uh, um, uh, uh, the, 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 the Russian uh, Human Rights, uh, Children's Rights Commissioner Maria lvova Belova for their role in the forced deportation and forced transfer of Ukrainian children. Rachel. So that's, that's quite a record. Yeah, indeed. Rachel, thank you so much. We appreciate your time today talking to BBC News. Rachel Denver there from Human thank Rights you. Watch.